Hi guys and welcome back. So today we have another super cool trick from the Royal Road to Card Magic and this in my opinion is one of those great ones from that book, okay? Now for this trick I'm just gonna have the spectator pick a card, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm simply gonna riffle down like this and I want them to say stop wherever they want. Let's say they stop me right here. Now I'm gonna leave that card right here for now but we're gonna return to that in a moment, okay? For now, I'm simply gonna cut the cards a couple of times and we're gonna look at the card that happens to end up on the top of the pack. Now in this case, it happens to be the King of Hearts. That tells me that your card is a king. It tells me the value of your card. Now let's look at the bottom card. This one is the Eight of Clubs, which tells me the suit of your card, it's a club card, so it has to be the King of Clubs, okay? For the last card, I'm simply gonna cut randomly into the pack. And we're gonna return to this one in a moment. But remember, your card happened to be uh, the king of clubs, okay? So this should be the king of clubs, and it is the uh, the four of four of spades. <clears throat> okay, um, well, let's just try this. And hopefully things will sort themselves out, <laughs> okay. Let's learn this trick, guys. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed that trick, please like the video and subscribe. And now let's learn it. So this trick is another one from the Royal Road Card Magic, of course. It's in the Force chapter. We're talking about forces right now. And it's called Force of a Kind, and it's on page 213. Now, this trick and this kind of plot really is one of those plots that I love to perform to lay people. It's really great, it has a little kicker ending, and it seems like you fail and you sort it out. There's a lot of ingredients in this trick that is really cool and really works good for lay people. This handling is a little bit different than the one in the book. I'm not using the backslip, the backslip four, so the backslip. Instead, I'm using a slip cut. The slip cut isn't great for the camera when it's literally like three decimeters from, from the deck, but in real life it, it really flies. So even though you might have seen it now in the performance, trust me that it works out there in real life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two of the fours right here on top. Then we're gonna have an indifferent card. It doesn't matter in, in this case, it's the king of diamonds and another four, okay? And the last four goes second to the bottom. Okay, just like that. And we begin like that. We can begin by shuffling the cards, maybe give it a simple riffle shuffle, you know, keeping those two cards at least on the bottom, keeping those fours on the top, okay? Something like that, some false cuts if you want to, okay? And now we come to the fours, okay? We're gonna force that top four. Again, in the book, they use the, the backslip fours. I'm not a fan of that. So instead, I like to simply slip cut this into the middle or a little bit further down than the middle. Simply putting your thumb here, lifting up the cards and as you drag them out, that friction that your thumb provides will slide that top card onto the bottom packet, okay? Just like that. And here you can drop it at an angle to create that kind of the natural jog we've talked about before, okay? pick up on that and get a little finger break, okay? Now we're gonna force that using the riffle force, so go watch last week's video if you don't know the riffle force. So we simply riffle, okay? Somewhere close to the break, doesn't have to be exactly there of course, but try to time it as much as you want, or can, sorry. We can do this little subtlety, we lift that up and we have forced that card but they don't look at that yet. You say that we're gonna to return to that card in just a little bit. From here, you can do another shuffle if you want to, a false shuffle, keeping everything as it should be, or just a, a false cut, okay? And say that, okay, we're just gonna look at whichever card happens to end up on top. So we do a little false shuffle or cut, and then we do a double lift. Go watch the double lift uh, video if you don't know how to do a double lift. Again, uh, this is the king of diamonds. So we say, this one tells me the value of your card. So your card is a king. Now we turn this one over and we place, it's a four right here, okay? And now we do another nice switch we've talked about before. We show the bottom card and we're gonna do the glide, okay? So go watch the glide video if you haven't seen that. 
that's the great thing about this trick. It's full of sleight of hand, but it's these fundamental slides that we all should learn and know and master. Okay, so we're simply going to say that, okay, this one tells me that your card is a club card. Okay, we're going to glide that as we turn our hand down and, of course, slide off or slide out the card uh, underneath that one. Okay, so you don't show this, of course. So we've slided the card right uh, or sorry, above this card. Okay, for the last card in the book, now we have a different card, this one again, and we have the last four. In the book, they want you to do a pass, and you can do that. This is a, also a great method, but I did it a little bit different here because I know a lot of you maybe don't really master the pass yet. But you can do the pass, get a break, don't let them coalesce, get a break there, and then say, I'm just going to take a random card, and then you force that card on yourself. So you, so you simply spread the cards, now here is the one above the break, so it's the next card, which is R4, okay? And we say we're going to get back to that one in just a moment, or something like that. Or the other version is, now we have another indifferent card, but there's going to be an indifferent card. If you don't want to do the pass, you can simply do another slip cut and say I'm just going to cut to a random position in the deck, okay? So, again, the slip cuts, you simply do a slip cut, and say you cut to a random card, you get this one and you say, okay, we're going to get back to that in a moment. Now, if you want to, I don't really remember now what we got. It was a king, a king and a king of clubs, I think. You can miscall these. You can say, okay, remember the king of clubs. Okay, you miscall these. These are fours, of course. But it's a nice little convincer thing. And you say, so this one should be the king of clubs. Oh, <laughs> the king of clubs. And... Oh, it's not the, okay, it's not the King of Clubs. And here you do a little bit of acting. And then, of course, you sort everything out, snap your fingers, and they're all fours. So that's actually a great little kicker trick with a nice ending. And I love to perform this types of tricks for lay people, and they love to watch them. So make sure to learn this and try it out, and let me know in the comments what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.